and gentlemen, Silent Mike back with another video. How long was our break? Two months? Three months? Three months. I missed you. I hopefully you missed me or thought about me one time. Thought about you guys a lot. I miss our community and uh, I don't even know where to start, man. Back at Untamed Strength, the glutes of glory himself. Man of many, many talents. So we took a little break. Um, mental, uh, physical burnout. We'll, we'll, we'll dig into things as we roll. Um, happy New Year, happy holidays. Hope everyone had a wonderful little vacation or break uh, with family or friends or, or even relaxing time by yourself. I've been relaxing, recouping by myself, obviously podcasting a little bit, emails and work a little bit, but uh, through the YouTube break, I just took the longest break in my lifting training career probably since eighth grade. Uh, I began lifting weights in eighth grade uh, to become a better basketball player. And pretty much year round since then, I don't think I took a longer break than perhaps a week, maybe 10 days off trying to improve my skill, my craft, my conditioning, or my strength. So maybe that was playing basketball, maybe that was running sprints, uh, perhaps lifting weights. For sure over the last 10 years, if you follow me on Instagram, it's on my 2Ks. I just posted a squat, 455 pound squat from about eight years ago. For sure over the last 10 years, I haven't taken longer off the barbell um, of some nature for probably also seven days. Uh, so it was pretty wild. Uh, I had a little bit of itch in the beginning. Um, again, working through some things myself, anxiety hit really, really hard. Uh, and so I was just trying to figure out what makes me tick and I just wasn't getting any fulfillment from the gym. Uh, and that's fine. And I know you guys are gonna be like, well, I love the gym. All I do is think about the gym. And, and everyone's a little different. I've been doing this a very long time. Uh, we have ups and downs, lefts and rights. And I came to uh, enlightenment uh, with myself that it was okay to have a break. It was okay to chill. It's okay to be weak again. As you guys will see some of this training footage Connor's gonna throw over here. I, uh, a, you know, hitting 20, 30, 40% of what I used to hit in these lifts. And that's totally okay. Uh, it's okay to go up and down uh, and things won't disappear. Did, was today very difficult? Not necessarily, but were things very, felt very heavy and did I feel weak, mentally a little difficult? Yeah. Uh, but honestly, as you'll see here, the comeback series, new video every Monday, I think probably in six weeks, if not eight weeks, uh, my strength level should be you know, back to at least medium average mic strength level. So that's the goal. Um, I'm going to talk about kind of the nutrition stuff in the next video, so uh, be sure to stick around for that. But today, uh, I haven't really gotten any programming. I've talked about training and how you come back from training, whether your break is two or three months. Maybe it's a year-long break. Uh, maybe it's only even a four or five-month break. Uh, but what we have to look at in our training frequency, intensity, in our general programming is... The biggest determining factor is kind of your rate of progress or how fast you can progress and that will determine uh, frequency and everything else so right now because my strength levels are quite low my conditioning my strength my fitness is quite low i'll be able to progress basically like i'm a beginner up to a certain extent probably even faster than beginner potentially um, just because i still have some muscle in me and it's just the uh, kind of neural adaptations i'm getting back used to doing the movements themselves so uh, for a while i'll be training three to four times a week with the barbell movements um, I'm going to use the safety squat bar a lot for right now because I just don't want to wedge my shoulders and put too much on my shoulders to begin with. Um, benching, probably straight bar, uh, regular grip and maybe a close grip mixed in. And then deadlifts will be conventional. Some kind of shoulder press, some kind of row, uh, and maybe a belt squat to get a little bit of extra volume in. Uh, but I'll be able to add load basically every training session or add reps. And that's kind of the goal. So um, intensity is going to be moderate. You know, I'm going to be hitting RPE 7s and 8s. Um, I'll be training in the 5, 3, and 1 rep ranges, kind of that strength range for the big lifts. And then uh, 8s and 10s, basic stuff for my accessories. Uh, trying to get a little bit more volume, build a little bit of muscles uh, back where I need them, the triceps, shoulders, etc. Uh, and it's mostly for me trying not to stick too much of a strict program so I don't go ahead and burn myself out again. Just enjoy the training. Uh, we're making a little bit of progress and having some fun. Uh, again, we'll talk nutrition and cardio coming up because uh, the holidays were good to me. We packed on some pounds, got a little heavy, um, but I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be back. So we started with the safety squat bar. Uh, I just hit a couple sets of three. Not a big deal. I don't know what the bar weighs, probably 75, 80 pounds. I uh, just had two plates on there, so who knows what the heck 
we we're lifting, but maybe 275, 285, 250, I don't know. Felt decent, knees are obviously uh, a little cold from not squatting for some weeks, um, but overall felt really good. Hopped onto the bench press, 225 actually felt the best on the bench, um, which I was surprised about, so hit a couple sets of five. Uh, and then 315, one of the biggest things I can already tell is just my grip is gone. Um, so I did double overhand uh, to what felt comfortable. So we did 315 on the deadlift uh, for a couple sets of three. Finished off with some shoulder press. Uh, I have an appointment to get to, otherwise I would have done some back. Uh, but I think my next session will be very similar full body movements, uh, but I'll choose uh, a variation. So more likely I'll go with some kind of dumbbell press, uh, maybe, a, uh, maybe another squat. We'll see how my legs feel. If not, it'll be the belt squat. Um, and then probably like a, a, a stiff leg or something where I handle a little bit less load and target the hammies and glutes a little bit. Keeping it real simple, trying to have a good time. Um, I got lucky, I guess, because Alan's been training around 10 o'clock and that's when we came in this morning. So I'm going to continue uh, to try to meet that just to hang out with him. We chat listen, chat life in between, which is always a good time. The boys are here. Um, but now I got to go. We got to go. Uh, I know not a lot of information here, but we are back. I'm going to be answering you guys' questions coming up. More informative stuff. Um, but for now, it's kind of the, the, the transformation coming back to powerlifting. I'm going to see what my mind and maybe my body can handle in terms of the, the, the big three. Uh, those are the focus right now. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. So we're Twitch streaming Monday through Thursday. If you guys want to come hang out, sometimes we're watching TV shows or articles and messing around. Sometimes we're playing video games. But uh, the big goals this year for me are obviously beyond this fitness stuff. Um, a lot of it is just to build the community with you guys. Uh, you know, we, we have a, a great little community on Twitch that we hang out, uh, trying to share that positivity. Monday through Thursday, podcast every Wednesday, Untamed Strength four times a week, trying to lift some weights with Mr. Untamed himself. But uh, I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm out of practice talking. But uh, we're here. We made it. Happy New Year. Get, smash that thumbs up thing or whatever you do here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys for sticking around, man. All the positive feedback on the last video. And uh, I gotta go eat some chicken or something. Oh, later, going up. Name this movie. 15? 15 and a half? Might be 13. Get away. You don't know it. I don't even know it. 13? I think it's 13? 13 and a half? Classic. Someone will get it. Not me. Free, free guys end program. Who gets it first? Or who gets it first and the most upvotes or something? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, day two, sell the mic. Um, man, so things don't go as planned. And some people get really frustrated how that goes. But I'm not that much of a planner and I do get frustrated. But sometimes you gotta roll with the punches. So everyone's asking why, why I took time off, how I gained weight. I was so lean. Now I'm not lean. I was kind of strong. Now I'm not strong. Um, Best answer is life happens. So we had some family emergency stuff. I've been dealing with um, anxiety my whole life, but uh, the year of 2018, rolling into 19, it's gotten worse. Um, dealt with some depression-like symptoms my whole life, ups and downs, we all do. Um, but that started to hit really hard uh, late 2018, early 19, uh, rolled over into 19. And in those phases, there's a lot of different things that can happen. Um, I started seeing a professional, uh, started to talk, try to figure my things out, figure my own thoughts out, my own emotions out. I am a pretty sensitive human being. Um, and to get the energy to do everything that I built my life up to be, started to become very difficult. Um, I'm blessed. I'm not here for a pity party. You guys have been asking on Instagram, so I'm trying to answer it. Uh, I was ready just to talk X's and O's, the lifting of programming, but you guys don't seem to care. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But So I started to... Um, I guess spiraled down a little darker and darker. Energy for regular tasks started to become more difficult. And the gym, it's kind of like when you're losing body fat. Like it loses all the stuff that you need, uh, that you don't need first, right? Like hopefully you just lose what you're not using. And so ener uh, you know, energy for the gym is like way peripheral in what my, necess my needs are, right? I need to make money, I need to take, take care of my mom, my family, my friends, I need to work. So I kept podcasting, YouTubing, then eventually I had to phase out of YouTubing, I just didn't have energy, kept the podcasting, kept my email work, and even that started to become a little difficult towards the end of the year. Um, so I, I ended up seeing the professional, we kind of built a plan to take some time off from the gym to not feel the pressure. Um, and this is all just real, you know, all your other YouTube fans, or your, the, the other YouTubers you're fans of can fake their whole life, but everybody deals with emotional things and, and there is a pressure to perform, there's a pressure to um, put out content, there's a pressure to uh, lift and look a certain way in this industry, in this world. And I know you guys even feel it, even though you may not um, necessarily be in a public eye or be a fitness professional, but um, that's not what got me down, but that is not what helped. 
uh, it didn't help the situation. So I um, felt all that, got a little bit leaner, uh, was riding my bike a lot, trying to listen to audio books and meditate and find these things. So that helped me get leaner in the middle of the summer. Um, but then when that energy kind of went away, um, I just I just tried to chill out and I, I didn't want to focus on my diet. I didn't want to focus on these things. I want to focus on me and, and, and me on the inside, you know? Um, so I focused on that mental health and that's kind of where we've been and that's still where I'm doing. That's still a big priority in what I'm doing. But um, 2020, we got some big projects that I've been um, kind of table topping and so it's time to dive into those. Now, into the gym stuff, maybe the more fun stuff. Um, got day one in. I think January 1st or 2nd we hopped in here. Um, got a little full body just to get moving. I was still writing out my game plan in terms of my programming. Um, but now we figured it out. I'm going to do a, a deadlift and front squat day. Finished up with back and by. Uh, I'm trying to train every other day and maybe not go by a 7 day schedule. The other day is going to be squats, bench, and push. Um, so a little bit of legs every single day. Uh, push pull otherwise. Um, and then training every other day. Eventually when I get the energy and time, we're gonna to start to throw in some uh, uh, variables, maybe some strongman, maybe some bicycling classes. When the weather gets better, I'll probably cycle outside, trying to get a spin mic in my house, et cetera, et cetera. I got sick, so we got day one in. Uh, felt okay, everything felt good, um, felt good to get back in. Weights obviously weren't anything impressive. I think I deadlift like 315, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and normally when I get sick, I feel it coming early because I'm highly sensitive and attuned to myself. And then uh, I just go straight to bed, chug liquids, sleep for two days, and I'm better. This time it crashed me. So I did that, went to bed, slept two days, still felt messed up. Two more days, still felt messed up. Um, and now I think we're on day five or six and I feel okay. Um, it's just my voice and my sinuses are kind of jacked, but I was like, man, I can't sit around no more. Um, so I've been working all week. We've been streaming all week on Twitch. Follow me, Salamike, if you're into video games uh, or we just kind of kick it, answer your questions, um, watch silly YouTube videos together. Um, so I've been streaming and working and podcasting, uh, but I didn't want to push me physically yet. But sometimes time is time. So five days into the sickness, we're here. Uh, and today is the first day of the real programming. So uh, hit squat, uh, deadlifts first. And everything I do with the main list um, will be a slow, kind of just linear progression, uh, adding 20 to maybe even 50 pounds uh, as my body adapts. Uh, because I took a three month break from the main movements, um, I'll be able to progress really quickly back to my main strength. Most of it will be a kind of neural adaptation, meaning I'll get better at just the movements again. I'm just finding the groove again, where my muscles, uh, I probably lost some muscle for sure and lost some strength taking that much of a break, um, but it's much more um, negligible than actually just out of practice. Uh, so I'll be doing those movements, probably threes, five, twos, maybe some singles here and there, depending on how it feels. So last week we did 315 on poles for threes. This week we did 365 uh, and it felt the same. Uh, there's no probably speed difference, no form breakdown difference again 50 pound jump but the neural adaptation will happen quick especially since i'm doing all these movements twice a week um, front squats first time doing that in a while front rack really <laughs> jacked up but it felt fine um, worked up just uh, sets of five um, 135 185 225 just getting the legs moving waking up my knees waking up my quads a uh, little bit of chin-ups face pulls biceps basics we're done um, focusing in more on my nutrition trying to get uh you know Moving a little bit more, just in general, my meat, Google it, uh, and then uh, just focusing in on protein. So that's it, I think. I, I think I just spewed all I got at you guys. Um, leave your questions below. You know, I'm, I'm about as, I hate these words, man. The internet ruins everything. Like, <laughs> I'm as transparent as it comes, but every idiot on here says they're transparent, but I'm just honestly being me and I'll answer whatever you want me to answer. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably deal with similar things, whether it be the gym stuff, the family stuff, the anxiety stuff, the life stuff. Um, in any way I can help or answer uh, my personal questions, I'm no doctor. Uh, I'll, I'll answer as I can. So leave a comment below. Uh, be sure to give this thing a like. We're dropping for sure one video a, a week here, kind of um, the comeback, answering your questions. I'm, I'm, I'm powerlifting again, so I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get as strong as I can in, in the main lifts. And uh, so we're going to show that. Answering your questions, we're twitching four times a week, Monday through Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, link's probably in the bio or it's just silent mic on Twitch. Podcast every Wednesday. We're dropping a brand new gaming channel soon. Um, just highlights from the Twitch stream. Um, I, I, a lot of people are enjoying it. We're building a really cool community there. It's a lot of fun to interact with you guys, hang out, talk shit. So uh, join that if you want to come hang out. And, and we'll catch you every Monday for sure here. I appreciate you guys. Silent mic, we're out.